next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is did the referee stop the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz fight too early? Uh, I'm going to start with G on the second. All right. Initially, when I first watched the fight, I was like, yo, what the ref doing, man? Like, it seems like he's all together. But now when I think about it, man, he took a lot of punishment that round. Like, a lot of punishment. And the fact that, you know, his arms was kind of like chilling on the ropes. His mouthpiece was like in the middle of the ring. When I think about it, I'm like, you know what? The referee did the right thing. So I'm going to say, nah, the referee didn't uh, uh, finish the fight too early. Sure. I say yes. I say yes, 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 yes. He's got this is the This is the heavyweight champion of the world. He deserves to go out on his shield. You know what I'm saying? He kept hitting up. You could tell he was smiling. He knew what he was. He just got hit and then he's back in the end. It just throws you to live in your mouth. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? You could tell he was he was there. You know what I'm saying? He was answering all the questions. He was smiling. He was there. He let you know he was there. It was just one of those things. And yeah, I think the rest I you like you gotta let the fighter go out on the shield. And um, he did it. AJ kept telling him he was okay. He was okay. Even when he stopped the fight, AJ said, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So he was there. You know what I mean? But hey, you know, we, we're here in this, uh, you know, everybody gets a, a medal, you know what I'm saying, era. You know, and you got to protect the fighters. You know? <laughs> but yeah, I, I think so. I really do. I, I really do. I think, you know, you got to give a fighter, especially if he's coherent, eyes was wide, he was smiling, he was saying, yes, I can. So it's a tough one for me, but I'm going to say no. But the reason why I'm saying no is more based on Anthony Joshua's reaction. So, as Trill stated, you love to see a champion go out on a shield. I think a champion deserves the right to go out on a shield. If you look at Tyson Fury Wilder, a ref could have just waved it off, but he gave Fury a chance to get up. He asked Fury to take some steps. Fury was able to do that. He let Tyson Fury continue. That was Jack Reese. Uh, he did a great job. Uh, but Fury also got up and said, like, I want to fight. Like, I, I'm good. I'm ready to go. Joshua leaned against the ropes. And one thing is when he's leaning against the ropes and he's trying to look cool, like, I say cool, but he's trying to look composed. We don't know what his balance is like. Sure, the ref could have been like, take a step forward, move to the side, move to the side. But Joshua didn't seem like he wanted to continue. He wasn't showing that uh, desire to continue to fight. He was just laying against the ropes, saying the right things, but not exhibiting the right things. And you look at some of the great comebacks in the history of the sport, like uh, Diego Corrales versus Luis Castillo. When Diego got dropped several times, he got up and was like, yo, I want to continue. You know, and, and Joshua kind of tried to pull the Diego, like spit the mouthpiece out <laughs> and whatnot, but he didn't quite pull the Diego, you know? Uh, but. <laughs> Diego's body language said, I'm still in this fight. Like, I still believe I can win this fight. And Joshua just kind of seemed overwhelmed and like, you know, I'm here, but I'm not here. Uh, I agree with Trill, like, psychologically, and like, he was coherent. He was there. Like, he was present in the moment. But his body language said I was finished. More fatigued than yeah. knocked out, in my opinion. And to add, he was exhausted. Like, he couldn't keep his hands up. I'm telling you that referee, like imagine if we was like, yeah, if we was the ref, we're like, get out there. Bro, he would have got KO'd, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that, I don't know. I hear what you're saying, he was the champ, let, let him go hard on the shield. Nah, dog, that was pretty much falling on the sword, B. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Diego Corrales, one of the great um, light, light, um, light champions, lightweight champions. Um, love Diego. I think I was about to say R.I.P. Joshua. R.I.P. Joshua. And speaking of that fight, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was ever as smooth as uh, spitting out the mouthpiece as Diego Corrales was <laughs> in that fight. And uh, to bring up that, when um, he went to that corner, he both eyes puffed up, and Joe Goosen told him, when he washed off that mouthpiece, you got to get inside on now. Diego Corrales went out there as one of the greatest fights. So yeah, great I'm telling fight everybody to go YouTube that fight. Diego Corrales and Castillo. I believe that was the 10th round. That's a real creed, a real Rocky 
guys can drop. Like, uh, I'll give you another example. Uh, Felix Trinidad versus ferocious Fernando Vargas. Uh, Fernando Vargas was a young guy who stepped up too soon and he fought Trinidad. And Trinidad got to him early, dropped him. Who was bringing this up? Listen, I'm sorry, bro. Who was bringing this up? Dropped him. Who was bringing this up? He was one of the fights. Vargas, Vargas got up, showed he wanted to continue, and ended up dropping Trinidad in the fight. And then in the 12th, Tito's experience took over and he ended up finishing Vargas and stopping him. But the point is, when you get up and you want to continue, there's certain body language you exhibit. There's certain behavior you exhibit. And Joshua was just a little bit too cool for school, a little bit too casual. So for me, even when they stopped the fight, he didn't show much disappointment. So for that reason, I'm not going to be more upset than maybe Joshua was himself. So, so, so. Now, 